Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of home decor videos just like this one. I also have a lot of other lifestyle, mommy content, huge gift guides, plus size fashion, beauty, cook with me, all that type of stuff. So if any of that is something that you're interested in, I would love it if you stuck around and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll have everything linked down below. Um, if you're trying to get a hold of me or want to see more content or just, you know, whatever, hang out. I love making friends um, with you guys on Instagram. I'm really active over there. So if you guys have an Instagram, I definitely encourage you to follow me and so we can just get closer and become better friends. So definitely follow me on there if you haven't already. And um, yeah, so without further ado, we're just gonna dive on in. All right, so this video is going to be my Halloween decor haul. So throughout the past number of years, I have done a number of like fall decor hauls that have included some Halloween bits and bobs, or I've just decorated for Halloween or whatnot, um, but I've never done an exclusive just Halloween decor video. And I think that's just because I've never I've bought a number of pieces throughout the years, but nothing like I've done this year. I've done some serious damage. I don't know, man, since the pandemic, I feel like all of us who love spooky season just went ham and have gone crazy in buying Halloween decor. I feel like it is like this mad rush and like my serotonin levels just peak. Is it a great thing necessarily to constantly like self-medicate with home decor shopping? Probably not, but I know a lot of us do it. And at this point in life, I'm just trying to find joy in the little things, friends. And this is one of them. So um, I'm really excited to share with all the little pieces I got with you. I will also be having a Halloween decorate with me go up after this, shortly after this. If you have not already seen my fall decorate with me or you're not interested in a Halloween decor and you want exclusively fall. I have a full fall decorate with me that I just recently uploaded. I really love how the season turned out. I have a lot of really good ideas so I'd love if you went and checked that one out. I loved that one this year but I'm ready to switch to my Halloween decor. But I figured since I have so much new stuff, I know so many of you guys really hunt for certain pieces as well, that I wanted to sit down and share with you what I got in hopes that I could um, share with you if you're looking for certain things, where they were, if I can link them, all that type of stuff for you. So um, just get all snuggled right in and we're gonna just dive in. I have a lot of stuff to share with you. I'm gonna try to break it down by room, not by store, because I just feel like it's gonna be easier. So like the type of theme, slash room where it's going to be in I think it'll be easier for me at least but I will try to make sure that I have you know save the store and all that type of stuff and price if I have it um so I think that's all that I wanted to share um I decorate for Halloween pretty early um I decorate for fall early August keep it through mid-September then I switch to Halloween decor from September through October and then come November is Christmas for me everyone has their thing some people get really up in arms when people change their decor too soon or whatever like I've had some pretty nasty comments over the years about it and let me just say like you do you friend like it is your home you can decide how you want to de decorate it and when you want to decorate it this is simply what i like to do and i know that brings me a lot of joy and i know it brings a lot of you guys also joy as well so no need for nasty comments if you don't want to watch it in september you don't have to okay just letting you know all right so first thing we're going to start out with is like kitchen kitchen pieces kitchen decor items and first things first are these really two cute little um oven mitts that say boo on them these are actually from the target dollar spot they were three dollars each i got them actually for my kids teachers every season in holiday time i like to get like little boo buckets or little gift bags and stuff to kind of celebrate the season teachers work hard and i know especially now it's been really hard to be a teacher and so i just want to encourage them and support them and make them feel loved and appreciated so i this is the start of this year it's just some cute little oven mitts I also picked up these two little kitchen towels and oven mitt set. Um, this one was from Tuesday Mornings, which is a really great place to shop for some Halloween and seasonal goodies that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, this was $6.99, and I just loved this little pot holder. Um, and then it go, it's connected to this like waffle weaved knit black, orange, and white 
towel. Um, I just thought he was so cute. This one is probably not one that I will use. This may just like be for decor. I know that that drives some people nuts. It is what it is, that's what I do. This one I will use, however. I just like the towel better. I think it'll be easier to wash. Um, and this came in a two set, two piece set. I wanna say this was also from Tuesday mornings, but I'm not positive. My mom has the other one, but it is Thackeray Binks from Hocus Pocus. And I just think it is so freaking cute. The thing that I really like about this one that that one doesn't have is there is a button, um, like hook, a uh, little tie thing right here that you can hook around your um, oven handle and that's where I keep my towels anyway so this will prevent it from falling off and it's just like a really cute little decor piece so I think he's really cute I think he's gonna look super cute in my kitchen um, and like I said I think those both came from Tuesday mornings next I have this uh, plastic tablecloth that has like all of these fun like witchy fortune teller kind of prints on it um, it was three dollars from Dollar Tree and they had a bunch of different designs but I thought this one was by far the cutest I love plastic tablecloths I have had one um, I think I have a total of two one that's Christmas themed and one that was Valentine's Day themed that I have had for probably 12 years now I use them until they are like literally like holes and falling apart I think that they are so useful for so many things especially if you've had kids when I was growing up when we would eat like in the living room in front of the TV with my family to like watch a movie or whatever my parents wouldn't let my brother and I sit on the sofa because we were like notorious spillers specifically me and so what they would have us do is they would get plastic tablecloths and put them on the floor and we'd have like a tablecloth and so if we spilled anything if crumbs got any anywhere it was just really easy to clean up dump everything in the trash like the easiest thing ever I feel like it is so smart and I never see people do it and I highly recommend it especially if you have like a toddler it's really great for if you have like a high chair and little kids are learning how to eat without having to make a big mess especially if you like carpet or flooring that's hard to clean or something like that Highly recommend a plastic tablecloth underneath. It'll save your life. Anyway, we do a lot of like, you know, crafts and messy things, especially like carving pumpkins and stuff. And I like to put a tablecloth just underneath us to just help with the mess. So this is the one that I got this year and well, it's the first one that I've gotten in many years. And it was just really cute. I got it at Dollar Tree. I just thought I'd share that tip because I feel like it's super helpful and I don't really ever see people talk about it. Next thing um, is some Tupperware. These are like recycled bamboo um, little containers from Home Goods. It came in a three pack and I just think that they're so gosh darn adorable. I believe these were $7.99. Um, my mom and brother gifted these to me. They've gifted me a lot of these items this year. That's what we do. We just constantly buy each other seasonal decor. But if you know me, you know that I love gnomes. They make me think of my dad who passed away. Um, and so we just, my mom and I are obsessed and we buy like gnome everything. So I just thought these are so cute. And they're really just like fun and would be a good gift to give to like teachers or family friends or like little treats and stuff if you bake in there or you know make something and give it to someone. I just, I love that idea. I think it's just so nice. Um, it's a good way just to show people you care about them. Um, also, this little spatula set, which was $3.99. I want to say this was also from Home Goods, but I just like to have seasonal stuff that I can just, you know, use around my kitchen. And then I wash it and put it away and bring it back out. I just go ridiculously overboard, but they make me happy. Um, next, I don't know if this is going to go in the kitchen or the bathroom, but... If you don't know me, um, you don't know that I am absolutely obsessed with pugs. They're probably my favorite animal, but definitely my favorite dog breed. And um, I have my own pug, his name is Frank, and he's the love of my life. He will be 11 this year. Uh, he's been with me through pretty much everything. I love him to death. Anyway, um, so I'm pug obsessed, and if you find something pug related, and especially if it's a seasonal decor item, I have to have it. So this was actually a gift again for my mom and brother. I believe this was from Home Goods. Yes, this was $12.99 from Home Goods. And he is so gosh darn cute. Like, can you I just I love him? Alright. Okay, I think these are the last couple of things for the kitchen. Um 
First things first is this giant mug. This is actually something that was gifted to me from my brother. Um, and it is from Joanna Parker. I've seen her designs all over TikTok. It's very much like the vintage Halloween, like spooky type of uh vibes i absolutely adore this i love this design style and i know it's become really popular um and so i found this mug her stuff is kind of hard to come by and it can be really expensive on certain places but my brother gifted me this and i just love it it has a chip in it and so i don't think i'm gonna be able to like use it to actually like eat out of it's also giant so way too much coffee but as a decor item i have like a little vase filler down there that i think i'll put inside of it and just decorate it i just think it's so cute and since i was able to start my joanna parker collection i also got these two things this is probably my favorite item i got all season and they're little salt pepper shakers they're candy corn and they're so freaking cute again they're from joanna parker i actually got these online from a small shop um that has a has one store brick and mortar store and then they sell pretty much exclusively online um and if it's i think it's family owned it's i just like to sh support small shops um but you can find these on amazon i do know that the the reviews are kind of eh, and i don't know if they are like authentic joanna parker but otherwise you can find them other places they're just way more expensive but they're just so gosh darn cute i love them i got them for such a good price on that website and i have like authenticity and certificate and all that type of stuff and i just think they're so cute they're also little salt and pepper shakers i don't know if i'll actually fill them but i think i'll just use them for decor pieces but how cute are they i love them okay i forgot that i have one more piece this is from home goods it's where i will keep Ooh, sorry it's where i keep my sweetener for my coffee um and it's hand painted it was super cute i love the cute little bright orange lid it's gonna go in my like coffee bar area that i love to decorate and it was only 7.99 i really really like it the only thing that i don't like is the little suction thing you can put it down but then it like slowly st of course it's not going to do it right now kind of sort of is but like it either suctions way too hard or it like won't stay suctioned and it'll start like pushing up. So what I think I'm going to do is just take off the little plastic little silicone thing because we don't really need it for freshness because it's literally just gonna be like packaged sweetener. So um, I think it'll be fine. But, like you can see, like it just doesn't wanna, of course it's not doing it now. Anyway, it's cute, I got it home goods. <laughs> That's really all that matters. All right, moving on to like bedding type of stuff. Um, first things first is pug. This was another gift from my mom and brother. They got it off Macari, but I think that it was like originally you could buy it like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Macari is a great place if you're looking for a very specific item that's like sold out. However, you're gonna pay out the butt on those websites. Unfortunately, it's kind of like scalping in a way. Uh, what is that, price gouging? price gouging where people just like go and buy a bunch of the item and then like they sell it for like triple the price online it's really frustrating but if you are very desperate for a certain piece you can always check out on there um, my brother and my mom got me this little pillow it's not everyone's cup of tea again not everyone likes pugs which but also <laughs> um it's not you know everyone's just uh, style but you know again put a pug in a costume I want it so he's super cute I'm excited to use him to decorate um, I also got these two pillowcases if you watched my fall decorate with me video um, I got very similar pillowcases from an Etsy shop that I also bought this uh, these pillowcases from they were great price they're great quality they're super super soft I really really love uh, that shop I think it's called twin brook quilt shop um, on Etsy. I really highly uh, encourage you to go check them out. I will try to link them down below. But I got these pillowcases. They're coming off a bit more cool tone in person. They have a bit warmer tone. Um, they're coming off more cool tone on the camera. They're warmer toned in person. Um, anyway, I think that they will be perfect for my bed. I wanted something that feels Halloween -y without being too like black and orange like bright orange or too spooky i wanted like a really just like softer palette in my bedroom um so 
I got these covers. I really like them. They're super soft and she has tons of different prints and designs and I was having a really hard time finding a good like couple of plaid pillow cases this year and I was so happy when I found her shop so definitely again recommend her they're really great quality she did a great job super soft they're like a flannel material I think they'll be really easy to wash very very happy with them so I got two of those and then this little guy so um if you've been following like pottery barn Halloween decor I feel like a lot of their like pumpkin pieces especially like their soft um pumpkins have been like really popular this year and they're also so stupid expensive and so i feel like home goods is a great place to check out dupes for stuff like that i found this guy for 12.99 he is so cute he matches perfectly with our bedding our duvet cover and um i have one from last year that's a candy corn like vampire bat that is very similar coloring and he's gonna be so cute with them so these two little guys well the candy corn and him are going to go on my bed and i definitely recommend you check out uh home goods for like these type of like needlework type of wool um little pillows i don't even know what to call these like little plushies they're just so freaking cute so really great quality i'm really happy with it i'm so excited to find him and uh yeah i'd recommend him so he's going on my bed and then lastly for the bedroom i got one of the hide and eek boutique from Target throws I was looking for this one and the cat one and I've had a really hard time finding both of them I finally found this one and it was the last one um, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's really cute little skeleton dude. I don't know though if I'm going to put him in here or if he's going to go in um, our living room area. I just haven't decided. Um, I really like the Hide and Eek Boutique or just like the seasonal Target throws. They're really soft. They're really easy to wash and they're really great for kids, especially if you want to like give them like a seasonal decor item in their room. I think they're great for that. They're $10.00 good price point they're nice quality i really like them um i'm just trying to figure out if i want to use this in here or out there if you can tell me to find a good like throw that will fit the vibe of like the pillowcases and that pumpkin i just uh showed you i really want like a ghost like a really cute ghosty throw it's kind of like a quiltish thing i've been looking all over home goods and i have not found one i see them all on tiktok and people scoring them and i haven't found one for myself so if you can give me good recommendations please let me know because i'm on the hunt so but i did get this one so the next number of pieces are like just basic decor items so i'm just gonna pull and share them with you um this little guy i shared on my instagram back in like june <laughs> i think he is from needle go i think actually she might have changed her name so i'm not positive but needle ghosts needle ghostry needle ghosties on etsy and I, he's just like in this cute little mason jar with this like cork on top like you caught a little ghost and he's like a little um wool ghost and she has tons like so many cute little ghosties and she can do custom ones highly recommend you check her out her shop adorable really beautifully handmade little ghosts and i just think he's so cute he's actually gonna go up in my book nook um and he just makes me so happy just like a little cot little baby ghosty so and that was like really great price as well definitely support small shops when you can you can find so many just like perfect just personalized and i don't know just specifically halloween decor too i feel like you can just find such incredible halloween decor um on etsy and other small shops highly recommend checking them out if you're just looking for that very specific like handmade touch can't beat handmade okay i found this little halloween decor filler these were from um at home they were 4.99 and they're just a bunch of pumpkins i really mainly got them for the candy corn i wish that i would have just found exclusively candy corn ones these are actually probably what's gonna go in here just to fill it up um and then i want to i want to stick something in it and i just can't decide what it is yet but i did get these they're cute they're like little styrofoam they look like they're gonna get glitter everywhere so we'll see if they uh see if it's a mistake see if it's a mistake you make a ghost i'm gonna buy it i have so many ghost things this year this was from at home as well and he was 7.99 and isn't he so cute he's so cute i have so many of these gosh darn type of simple ghosts 
but I just love him and he's also kind of like almost like quilted and seamed on the side I don't know how to describe him I just think so adorable and then I also got this one <laughs> from Target and he's wearing a scarf look how happy he is he is also a light which is that much better to me he was five dollars which I think is a bargain but now I can't get him to turn on so maybe not maybe not a bargain well he doesn't turn on so that's kind of annoying but he's still cute that's really all that matters and I like him anyway, even if he doesn't turn on. He was $5, and he's so happy, and he's wearing a cute little scarf, so he's cozy. So, again, simple ghosts, I'm there. Also, in the Target dollar spot, I just got these cute little frames. They were only a dollar each, and um, this was kind of an impulse buy. I really don't need these. I'll probably put them in the girls' room, but I just thought they were cute, and I figured, like, I'm going to be disappointed if I don't get them and I think about them later and I'm like, man, I wish I got them and they're all gone. So I just got the cute little plaid gingham like jack-o'-lantern one and then this little three ghosties looking like they're going trick-or-treating. No, he has a pumpkin that says boo. But cute and for a dollar, you really can't beat it. All right, continuing on the Target train. Uh, this is from the Hide and Eek Boutique. This is just a pack of pumpkins. I get a new set of these almost every year and I just keep adding to my pumpkin collection. I love their pumpkins and these had pink in them and little ghosts on them and I just couldn't say no these are only five dollars and you get eight pumpkins and I just thought they're so cute I honestly probably gonna go in my girls room I may keep them out there I haven't decided yet but they're just so cute I really want a big pumpkin with ghosts on it so if you see it at a Target or elsewhere let me know because I really want a big like orange pumpkin with painted ghosts on it the next thing I got is from Hide and Eek Boutique and it is this little garland that was $10 and it's like little knitted ghosties. They're so cute with little tassels. I just loved it. It's going to go um, where my little pumpkin sweater type of garland is right there and I'm just going to put that one up and I just figured it's going to be so cute with my little pumpkin uh, pillow and my candy corn. I just thought it's cute but it's still like it still feels cozy in like a bedroom to me so I really like them. I, I, I thought this was like a total score this year at Target. I think Gucci literally never disappoints me. Along the same ghost vein because apparently I can't not buy ghost things. This is a Target. <laughs> in the dollar spot it was five dollars and he's just so cute and i figured this is like a really cute thing to put in your kitchen like if you have a cutting board like a charcuterie board that's smaller or like a circle or something to like put it against your like kitchen um with your you know you know how they like stack like charcuterie boards or like wood cutting boards like this would be really cute with that It'd be cute on your mantle which is where i think i'm gonna put it i just thought he was so cute you can hang him he does have a little hanger but i think i'm just gonna like put him standing up but I just thought he's so cute and for five dollars I thought he was pretty good he's like pretty nice you know I liked him another thing from the hide and eek boutique is this little cat and jack-o-lantern this was ten dollars I believe and it lights up you can't really see that because it's light as heck in this room but he lights up and these make me think of like the vintage glow molds that we used to glow blow molds blow molds blow molds whatever the plastic type of like lit uh Halloween decorations that we used to have as kids if you were a 90s baby like I am um or older I think I'd like these was like a really common they were big and you put them outdoors common type of Halloween decor and they just give me a lot of nostalgia and I just love the sweet little black cat perfect for my girls room so this is where it's going but he's so cute actually I don't know, it may go in my girl's room, I may keep it out for my living room. I just like it so much. We'll see. Super cute though. Guys, we're making it. We're getting there. All right. This little tray is from uh, Target. It was $5. I just really, it's like a moon tray. I just thought it was super cool, especially if you like to do like a celestial style, like um, kind of like witchy, psychic-y type of fortune teller theme. I just thought this was really cool. And to go along with it, this is one of my other favorite pieces from this year that I got. I couldn't get it last year and I was so disappointed, but they brought it back and it is a cauldron. This is actually from Michael's. Um, it was $30, but I believe I got it when they were having 20% off. And I just love it. It has all of like 
the uh, moon phases well i guess it's not moon phases because they don't change but crescents and then full moons and then just stars i don't love the little froggies toads holding it up i wish that they were like little regular pedestals but i'll take it anyway um uh, i just think it's so cute this would be cute to like hand out candy in um it's definitely not like food safe or like things that you could do like the foaming um dry ice type of um cauldrons but it's just cute for decor and i don't know what i'm putting in it yet i'm still on the hunt to try to figure out what i want to put in it but i figured i'm going to put it on my coffee table and i'm trying to decide this is the first time i'm trying this out so this could go way wrong i wanted a tray or something to put underneath it so i saw this i thought it was perfect maybe it'll look good maybe it won't i'll have to play around on the coffee table but essentially this is supposed to go together we'll figure out if i like it like that um, I also have these candles that I got from Target. These were way too expensive for what they are, honestly. Like, I could have got these online or made them myself. I've seen them made with, like, pool noodles. But what's done is done. Um, I got these battery-operated LED lights from Target, and they were $5 for two little pillar candles. But they're, like, look like they're melting wax. So I couldn't decide if I wanted black only or the cream, so I decided to get both colors. And I'm gonna kind of place it around the cauldron. I just figured it'll look really cool. Um, and so I got those. I'm trying to set like a little witch setup, essentially. I kind of want like a black cheesecloth or something, um, like a looser one, you know, it's kind of like torn almost to kind of like put underneath everything so it looks like the a witch is doing spells. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Duolingo is telling me I need to practice Spanish. Um, and then I got this little jar for $5 and it just looks like a potion jar and I just thought it was so cute. It has serpent on it. Um, it's glass. I really liked it a lot. I have a lot of potion jars. My book nook in here that I decorate my little shelves in my bedroom are like witchy themed. So this may go in here, but it may go next to my cauldron. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I just thought it was so cool. It's like a cool like ombre dye jar it looks cooler in person than it's coming on camera but i really liked it so i found him at the target dollar spot and guys i think we're almost done this is the last interior home decor piece and i got this from qvc if you've watched me for a while you know that i love qvc i love to watch qvc it is super comforting for me i used to watch it during like really hard times in my life um and it just like nothing ever goes wrong on qvc obviously it's a shopping network and they want you to shop stuff but for some reason it's just really comforting to me so i also like shopping on it i found this little little pedestal candle pedestal for a candle you know what i'm saying pedestal holder candle holder and he's a mummy and he's so cute and he looks like he's just ready to go trick-or-treating and he's so happy they also had a black cat that i originally wanted but it sold out like instantly so instead I got my little mummy friend and he's so cute and then i also got it came with a led uh candle that is ombre glitter don't know how much i love the ombre glitter but what's done is done i may have to switch him out later maybe give him to a friend who really likes the glitter vibe but it looks like candy corn but he's so cute and he just makes me happy so don't know where he's going but he was an impulse like i have to have you type of buy so um so cute and uh, i do think this is timered yeah it's a six hour timer which is nice so really cute love qvc they always have great halloween and seasonal decor if you're looking for some fun special pieces that you don't normally find in stores i would recommend qvc guys we've made it to the last category we're almost done these are my outdoor items so things i'm just gonna place on my porch nothing too crazy i honestly really don't decorate my porch i really want to start doing that so um, i'm trying to incorporate it this this year um but i have two cute little yard stakes and they were from at home they were only 2.99 a little happy boo ghosty and a cute little cat going trick-or-treating uh, probably a kid in a costume because he has like kid hands like man hands but who knows i don't know their life anyway um i don't know how well they're gonna hold up they may be kind of should be an indoor decoration for like an indoor plant or something but we'll, we'll try it out 
they were technically in the outdoor stuff so we have a covered patio for the most part we'll try it out i also got this which was 9.99 also at home from at home and it's just this cute little farm truck with jack-o-lanterns that say trick-or-treat and I just thought these kind of go cutely together. So I got him. And then last but not least, I got this really cute doormat from at home. It was $12.99. It has been folded, so it's like in a weird wonky position. <laughs> I don't know, I need to like flatten it. But it says Happy Halloween with ghosties all over it. Apparently my theme this year was ghosts. Um, it was $12.99. The only thing about that particular mat is it sheds like nobody's business. And I'm definitely worried that the like actual print won't last very long on it. But we're going to try it out and hope for the best. It is super, super cute. So, and I wanted to like start decorating my outdoor area. That is it, friends. We made it to the end. So, thank you for watching. This has made me so excited to start decorating. I think I'm going to start decorating tomorrow. I can't wait. So, if you see me next, I'll probably have a Halloween Decorate With Me video. And I hope you watch it because I have so many cute things this year. And stuff from last year that I can't wait to just share with you and show you. And so, yeah. So, definitely uh, keep an eye out and watch my little Decorate With Me. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will try to have everything linked below. Sometimes I completely forget about it. Um, but I will try to have everything linked below for you. Try to make sure I sh shared all the uh, stores anyway. Um, but a lot of good stuff this year. I was really happy with the like themes and stuff that a lot of stores put out this year. Sometimes things are just like too, like purple and green and black and white, which is not my normal vibe. And um, like kind of just like spooky i don't know i like spooky i don't like scary um at least for my home because i have young kids so i love scary movies and stuff like that but like as a decorating theme it's not for me so i was really happy with the style that they had this year very nostalgic very vintage-esque and it made me really happy so i hope this got you in the spooky mood i have been binge watching so many spooky things and um lots of spooky movies and shows and reading spooky books right now i'm reading the haunting of adeline I have been listening to It's Always Halloween, um, a podcast on Spotify that talks about the history of Halloween. I absolutely recommend it. It has been so educational, really enjoyable. It's totally got me in a spooky mood. I've been watching lots of spooky ambient rooms. Again, if you want to know what my ambient room playlist is, I have over like 1,500 videos on my ambient playlist. Um, and it's called Escape to Another Place. I highly recommend watching it if you're looking for some just like good vibes for all the year. I'm literally every season, every holiday, there's stuff for you on there. And um, I have been enjoying some spooky music and just really getting into the mood. I'm so excited for Halloween this year. And tell me what you guys are doing. Are you excited? What are your plans for Halloween this year? I know the pandemic has definitely changed for the most part which is really exciting i know we're getting new boosters um hopefully next month and so there's just a lot of hope i feel like for the next coming weeks and months and so i don't know things feel a little bit different this year i hope that things will go good this holiday season um who knows life's crazy lately so thank you so much for watching i um look forward to see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>